Hello, Miss Carr. My name is Seth Hart, and this is my six six weeks book talk presentation. Uh, recently, I finished reading the book, a book called Airborne by Kenneth Opal. Um, it is a fictional book based in a time period that is unknown. I do not know. Uh, whenever they had blimps. It is almost in like a parallel universe because they use blimps instead of airplanes and la di da di da. Um, it's about a boy named uh, Matt Cruz who is a cabin boy on a mighty ship called um, the Aurora. And he is a very honorable cabin boy. His father knew the captain very well, and so the captain uh, is treats him with the utmost respect um, and it is about his adventure on the Aurora and meeting a girl by the name of Kate DeVries um, who was a passenger and he was her cabin boy uh, starts off he is up on the crow's nest and he spots a hot air balloon and later on actually I won't give away the big reveal at the end but uh, they figured out, and there's this journal, and it's talking about this species that's unknown to them. It's never been seen before, except by the guy who was in the hot air balloon, who uh, was trying to go all the way around the world and explore. He was an explorer. And they read through the journal, and uh, later on, they're just cruising down across the Pacific and there is a pirate ship, pirate blimp, that uh, hijacks them and ends up killing one of the first mates or something. And then that's not very, that's not a super important detail. But uh, they get away with everything. They steal all of the uh, luxury goods on the blimp, and um, and then they. Because they were chasing them down, one of the uh, propellers cut open the top of the Aurora, and the Aurora was forced to do a landing, and they landed on a remote island on the beach. Everybody ended up being okay, except the first mate who was shot, and uh, Kate DeVries and Matt, on his off time, when he's not uh, on his shift, he, they go out and they explore the island. Well, while they're out in the woods Kate tells Matt that the explorer that was in the blimp or in the hot air balloon that they found who later died in the hospital of the Aurora he was Kate DeVry's grandfather and they were very similar and he always told her stories and he and she knew that the unknown species that everyone thought was crazy was actually real uh, and they're out in the island and the they find a bone, and this bone, the creature that uh, Kate's grandfather described was like a panther face, but it flew, but it never landed. Even, they would go up uh, like 20,000 feet and give birth, and the babies would start flying before they hit the water. And so, they never, they never landed. But they're out in the woods and they find this bone that is hollow on the inside and uh the... hey Oliver no and they it ends up being the creature and so it's and then later on in the island they discover deeply and they follow this creature and uh, they end up coming across the pirates, which again isn't very important. The important part is that they found the creature. Um, this book has multiple themes. Um, to me, it really, it almost taught me to respect authorities, just because so in so many uh, in so many different ways, Matt earned more respect by others 
by respecting his, the authorities, including the captain. Um, it kind of influenced me to, um, I don't know, it, it was a really good book. Uh, the climax is when they find the creature and Kate's just overwhelmed with all these emotions because she finally figures out that the, her grandfather was not crazy. Um, the book ends with uh, Matt ends up getting he, he ends up getting a position at the Air Academy which is a very prestigious academy that you have to go to in order to become a first officer, officer or higher. And uh, Kate is writing all these books about the creature and she's going around the world and teaching everyone about this new species. Um, at a very positive ending. And it uh, was a very good book. The next book I'm going to read is the sequel called Skyfall. And supposedly it's about finding treasure. Um, thanks for listening. Goodbye.